40 years ago, Britain's rivers were in a terrible state. Polluted with pesticides and chemicals, the wildlife that lived in them was in serious decline, and otters suffered more than most. But with a nationwide cleanup, many of our rivers now tell a different story. The Stour here in Dorset is one such river that now hosts an abundance of otters like never before. And whilst the townsfolk go about their daily business, plenty of them have had some really good sightings. In between deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan, Staff Sergeant and One Show viewer Stephen Mallison has found a special affinity for the otters of this river. So Stephen, how did you first chance upon the otters then? Uh, Madden and I just decided a river walk would be nice in the morning, so we started walking the dog down here. And then one morning, I looked down into the water, there's a family of four otters there just playing happily in the water. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have a camera at the time, um, <laughs> but I think from that moment on, you know, I was hooked. Whilst without his camera on that occasion, since then, not only has he been taking some cracking photos, but by charting the positions of his sightings on a map, he's providing valuable information for the local wildlife trust, and us. Fantastic. So these red circles indicate all the locations that you've seen them regularly, I presume? I've um, regularly seen them, yes, yes, definitely. Where are we at the moment? At the moment, we are just here, opposite number three. So they're not moving a huge distance then. How far is that span that we're looking at on that mm, map? That span there is probably about 600 metres, 700 metres maximum. So it's quite a short area. Fair stuff. Excellent. Let's spot those otters. Excellent. Otters might be making a comeback, but from my experience, they are extremely elusive and require an early start with lots of patience. But even with Stephen's map and his amazing local knowledge, I wasn't expecting to find an otter in less than 30 seconds. <laughs> right at the bottom of the weir, we've got an otter. It's just coming straight towards us down the bottom of the weir. Oh, that is brilliant. I have to say, I think I'm a pretty good naturalist. I've got a very good set of eyes for spotting things. And you were just, like, all over this. You know, there's one there, there's one there. You can see that lovely outline. You see the big broad head and the body as well, and then that, that flattened tail coming up. There you go, down again. It's just almost like a porpoise or a dolphin in the water. I'm just... I have to say, I'm just blown away. I thought we might get a glimpse or two. I had no idea it'd be kind of coming up and down and feeding away. As the otter at the weir disappears, we use Stephen's map to see if we can find any more. And the morning just gets better and better. <laughs> Trail of the bubbles on the water. <laughs> it just pops up into shot. <laughs> the sheer number of otters on this river is astounding. Not only is it beautifully clean, the Stara is also a bit special. It's a chalk river with deep pools and gravel beds, which make it ideal for fish to lay eggs. This creates both an abundance of food for wildlife and a perfect habitat. So perfect, in fact, that Stephen has seen up to nine otters living along this very short stretch. Considering 40 years ago these animals were virtually extinct in the UK, I just can't believe how many otters there now appear to be. It's thrilling. Amazing. It's brilliant. Absolutely thrilling, Stephen. Best view of otters I have ever had. I get this sort of treat every day. <laughs> <laughs>